Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Um, I hope you had a really relaxing weekend and that you didn't do very much on school and were just able to relax and do something fun around the house. I'm not sure what you did. Um, here's one of the things I did. Ta -da! We put up a shelf and now I have all my plants on it. Um, I'm trying to start our garden early inside because I wanted to and I needed a project and <clears throat> I may or may not have like a brown, black thumb. I kill everything. So I'm working really hard to remember to water on time and to not overwater and get them the sunlight they need. So <clears throat> here's my project of self-improvement right now, developing a new skill. Anyway, um, I hope you guys are developing new skills. If you'd like to, I'd love to hear what is it that you're working on? Like what's something you've always wanted to learn? Now you have the time to do it. So, okay, for today, you have your checklist as usual right here, and I'm working really hard to put in your checklist all of the links that you need, or at least as many as I can. Um, so <clears throat> you're going to be reading a new Zella article this morning called All the Cells in the Human Body, and next to it, it should give you questions to answer as well. You're answering those questions, and then you're also completing this Google Doc, All the Cells in the Human Body. Um, <clears throat> so that will have, in your own words, you're describing what each of the following cells do. Make sure to use complete sentences, so capitals, punctuation, period, but it's in your own words. So you're practicing the skill of summarizing um, what you've read. Okay, so directions are up here again for reading, um, but all of that is under your all the cells in the human body. For math today, um, we're going to do a, uh, everything you need is on a Google form. I'm trying to do more of consolidating, putting everything in one place. So it's a lot easier to know what to do. So the videos for this are right here. Um, and this is how to find the area of a rectangular prism. We worked on if they're like in nets, but what do you do if it's not a net? What do you do if it's just like this? and you're just given the actual rectangular prism and you're given the numbers. So um, one of the things that I want you to do is to watch the videos, but then also go through and read this. They have the colors that can help. You can look and figure out, okay, how do I solve this? What do I do? Um, here's what's funny. This problem with the surface area, I actually had a very similar thing happen this weekend, except for it wasn't with ice, it was, heating something up. Um, anyway, it's funny. There's a lot of conversations that came up, came up this weekend that were like, oh, hey, yeah, look, that's surface area. Oh, hey, look, that's density. Anyway, it's kind of fun. So you're answering those questions. Um, here's the picture that you're using. Here's your answer. I know that we can't do inches squared right now. Um, so go ahead and just write out inches squared because or inches and a two after it, because I want us to really get in that habit. That's a really important thing. Okay, so there's also parallelogram. Well, we're also going to look at how to do this with a triangle, sorry, with a triangular prism. So again, you have this right here that can give you that explanation. There's also the video at the top that gives you the explanation. Again, I'm here today, happy to help. Um, my hours are um, probably a little smaller than usual, um, because I'm also needing to get some stuff prepared for after spring break for the rest of April, needing to get that done. <clears throat> okay, so you've got all of those practice problems there. I'm here to help for sure if you have any questions. A few other things that I wanted to bring up really quick. Um, your, I talked about doing reading groups this week. Um, after a conversation with Miss Robbins and kind of the email she sent out, I think I'm going to try and pare it down and keep it more simple. Um, also, just with trying to do reading groups, sometimes a technology aspect and um, discussion that didn't happen sometimes, um, I think I'm going to do that a little differently. So I know I told some of you look for an email. That's why the email never came. Um, I've been thinking about and decided I'm going to change that and tweak that a little bit. So we'll see what that looks like after spring break. Um, there might be more of a set schedule, but for at least this week, I decided... Let's keep it really simple and really easy. So let me know if you have any questions. Hope that you're having a fabulous day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.